Hello everyone, welcome to the market outlook for the week. Gaurang Shai here from Jujit Financial Services and a steady beginning for the week after last week's uh, choppiness and volatility and of course uh, led by various concerns across the globe. Uh, whether it is to do with interest rates, whether it is to do with uh, inflation and of course uh, on uh, the domestic front we have the first quarter earnings unfolding as I speak to you. Uh, and it will continue for some time. So just to give you uh, some levels in the market, uh, Sensex is up uh, close to about 410 points at uh, 54,175. Uh, Nifty is up 125 points at 16,175. Uh, Bank Nifty is uh, up close to 160 points at uh, 34,440. And the rupee dollar equation after seeing considerable amount of weakness in the rupee against the INR, uh, today we are witnessing a little bit of strength uh, trading somewhere close to about 79.85. On the energy basket, uh, we are at uh, $102 a barrel mark on the Brent and uh, $98 per barrel on the NYMEX. So friends, uh, the global concern of uh, inflation and interest rates rising has led to a little bit of overreaction in world markets, equity markets, that is, including our markets. And as we have witnessed and history has witnessed to it, we always overreact to a lot of things uh, externally and internally. Uh, our sense is that uh, the inflation concerns are priced into the market. Interest rates hike are also priced in. The question is how much, when and to what extent, which of course will come to know as and when the events unfold. But by and large, I think uh, the levels where we are trading, we should possibly consolidate over here. And like I mentioned last time, I think first quarter earnings will give you some amount of uh, direction and uh, wind as to what sectors perform and what underperform. So what we've seen up till now in form of first quarter earnings, well, definitely IT. Big boys have done below expectation. Mid cap IT, some of them delivered better than expected returns. Other sectors, whatever numbers we've seen, uh, well, some have done better than expectation and some have done in line. So in and all, I think it's a mi mixed bag. Of course, it's a little bit premature because we've not seen as many numbers for this first quarter, this financial year. But uh, whatever we've seen, this is the picture in front of you. Overall, uh, like I mentioned earlier, for the remaining part of calendar year, that is from July 2022, to December 2022, uh, one can expect a conservative lower return on the Sensex, that is Sensex and Nifty, the indices. Uh, but uh, stock specific, you may see outperformance depending upon the earnings that will come through for the next couple of quarters by this time. We see the calendar year end 2022. So, time to possibly cherry pick, time to see some increased fund allocation to the investments in equity markets and uh, maybe uh, I may be right in saying that time to put your money at work given the correction given the base building exercise given the triggers in form of uh, external and uh, internal issues that is uh, local and global uh, triggers and of course not to forget uh, today uh, the Honorable Prime Minister has given his speech with respect to the starting of monsoon session and there are a lot of bills that have been lined up. Let us see how the monsoon session of the parliament goes through and how many bills are getting passed and what will be the effect of those bills getting passed on uh, world, on uh, Indian economic growth rate and on sectorial uh, performance in terms of policy changes. But in and all, I think we should possibly trade today where we are trading close to 16,175. I think we are possibly feeling a little bit top heavy. And over the last week, 10 days, we've seen that moment we go to 16,200 or a little bit above that, there is profit booking. Uh, we correct a little bit, then consolidate somewhere close to about 16,000, 16,100 between those levels and then we move up. So I think it's going to be a broad range bound move on the broader markets. But on stock specific, as I mentioned, depending upon the earnings, we'll see performance come through. So we've seen correction in IT and I we feel that IT is a, uh, is a sector to look at. Some part of your portfolio allocation should be done to IT. 
and the verbatim given by the management post the numbers uh, especially with respect to TCS and uh, HCL Tech including names like uh, uh, LNT Technologies, uh, Mindtree just to name some mid cap uh, numbers that have come through. Uh, the outlook looks strong, uh, attrition is a concern, uh, billing is uh, flat and uh, large ticket uh, booking is also uh, flat to below par. So I think uh, the commentary is that uh, the outlook looks strong and uh, they will dedicate a lot of efforts to streamlining their businesses and getting more talent into the company's uh, pool and of course getting in more large ticket clients uh, for uh, the run rate to improve. So our sense is that maybe you know this uh, correction that we've seen is a good time to do some cherry picking in IT. Uh, banking and NBFCs, we have not seen much of numbers, but uh, our sense is that uh, they should perform relatively better. Uh, gross and net NPA should come out and NIMS should go up. Uh, autos should do well with the month on month uh, numbers that we have seen, and uh, metal and cement uh, policy decisions will possibly uh, give a direction to these as well. So, these and of course, FMCG and consumer durable. So, broadly speaking, these are some of the pockets that you should possibly look out for. And uh, try to look at, uh, uh, you know, uh, value buying uh, at lower levels with a long term point of view. Short to medium term, I think any levels between uh, close to 16,200 and above, you should possibly take at least some uh, money off the table and uh, secure your uh, 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 short to medium term trades that you've done. Thank you very much for your patience hearing and I'll see you again next week. Till then, take care. Goodbye.